Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today, in honor of Super Bowl Sunday, we're going to be doing a video that has absolutely nothing to do with football. It's going to be called Doubting Math, and in this video, we're going to be doubting mathematics through the use of Russell's Paradox. This, of course, is the famous paradox proposed by Bertrand Russell. Now, a quick admonition before we get going. This is a basic introduction to Russell's Paradox. If you want more information, check out Principia Mathematica by Alfred Whitehead and Bertrand Russell, or Russell's Paradox on the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. With that out of the way, let's get started. So, in order to understand why this paradox is going to be a problem for math, we're going to take a look at a webcomic that's out there, known as XKCD. It's quite a lovely webcomic. If you haven't checked it out, you should. Now, we're going to be focusing on a specific comic that deals with the different academic disciplines and levels of purity of these disciplines. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to put the social sciences on one end being less pure and the hard sciences on the other end. In the sense that sociology is just applied psychology in some way, being that if you understood everything about psychology you would understand everything about sociology because all sociology is doing is taking the elements of psychology, the study of individual people's minds, and applying that to larger and larger groups of people. In the same way, Psychology is just applied biology. Basically, all you're doing is taking the science of neuroscience and the ideas of the brain and bringing it out to the person or the full mind. There could be arguments of whether or not that's true, but that's not really what we're getting into. Similarly, biology is applied chemistry, chemistry is applied physics, and physics is just applied math. At this point, XKCD goes and makes a joke about even math being so much more pure than even the hard sciences. But... Math itself is actually based on something. What is it based on? Math is based on logic, predicate calculus, and, more importantly for here, something known as set theory. Now, what is set theory, you ask? Well, that's the subject of an entire dissertation, so we're not going to get into it right now. However, I will say simply, set theory is the study of sets. Well, what are sets? Let's take a look. A set is basically a group of things. Examples might include all red things, all non-open things, or my right nostril, the Andromeda galaxy, and the theory of relativity. Certain sets are considered natural kinds, basically sets of things that go together. These might be things like all red things. You'd be hard-pressed to put forth an argument that says my right nostril, the Andromeda galaxy, and the theory of relativity form a set that's a natural kind, but who knows, you might be able to. Sets are also all sorts of different things. You can even have the empty set, which is a set that contains nothing. You can have sets, such as all sets that contain James Buchanan's left big toe, that are sets of sets. Also, all sets with three members in them would be a similar example. You can even have sets that include themselves, such as the set of all sets that are listed here, or the set of just all sets. However, this feature of sets poses a little bit of a problem for set theory. It is that problem that Bertrand Russell bases the paradox on. Let's take a look now at the paradox. So, the set of all sets that are not members of themselves. This seems like a fairly straightforward set, perhaps at the outset, but the question can then be raised. Is this set a member of itself? Well, let's see. If the set is a member of itself, then it is not the set of all sets that are not members of themselves. Why? Because one of the sets that's included, namely the set itself, is a member of itself. However, if it's not a member of itself, then it's not the set of all sets that are not members of themselves. Why? Because there's one set out there that's not a member of itself that's not included, namely, once again, the set itself. Therefore, we have a big important problem for set theory, and therefore mathematics and everything all the way up on which mathematics is based. Watch this video and more at carnadies.org. Stay skeptical, everyone, and go Seahawks!